Okay, so now what I'd like to do is um, explain why the Regenx generator innovation is not a perpetual motion machine. Uh, a lot of people like um, Dr. Steinitz, the editor of the Canadian Journal of Physics, likes to basically claim that this is a perpetual motion machine and I'm going to explain why that's not true and I'll explain what it takes the, well the difference between infinite efficiency and perpetual motion so right now our system is running um, on no load at a steady state speed the again the power in the drive shaft. A generator is a device that converts mechanical input power in a drive shaft to electrical output power. When the drive shaft is rotating at a steady state speed, as it is now at rotational equilibrium, the power in the drive shaft is the torque times the speed. And if, if the system is not accelerating, then the torque in the drive shaft is zero and the power in the drive shaft is also zero. This ha shouldn't have to be explained to the Canadian Journal of Physics, but nevertheless. So the power in the drive shaft at rotational equilibrium is zero and if we take power from the generator, the prime mover will respond by consuming additional input power and deliver, and the prime mover will convert that electrical input power increase into mechanical power, which will go into the drive shaft and allow the generator to continue generating. Otherwise, the system will stall. So, if you want to turn this uh, generator prototype, which has the capacity to be a perpetual motion machine, I'll, I'll show you how what you have to do. So currently we're at 3,468 RPM. The prime mover is consuming 173 watts. We're at rotational equilibrium on no load. And I'm going to put the conventional generator on load. So as we can see, the voltage across the load is 10.23 volts and the current is 0.87 amps. So 8.9 watts of electrical output across the load. And our prime mover consumption, electrical consumption on no load is 172 watts. And so the prime mover consumes an additional 22 watts in order to deliver 8.9 watts to our load. So the black box efficiency of our system is about 40%. Now, right now, we're operating below 100% efficiency, and if you want to get the Regenx generator to operate at infinite efficiency, 
you engage the Regenx generator coil that's in the prototype, and the speed increases, increases, and the prime mover input decreases to less than what was what required at no load at rotational equilibrium. Now, if you want to create a perpetual motion machine, like the Canadian Journal of Physics says that I'm doing, and lots of other people on the internet like to say that as well. You have to take this 10 watts of output that is at 400 hertz, you have to reduce it down to 60 hertz, feed it into the prime mover, and you also have to get this output to be above 163 watts. So you can see how absurd it is to say, for anybody to say, especially the editor of the Canadian Journal of Physics, that this is a perpetual motion machine. It is not a perpetual motion machine. What it is demonstrating is less than 100% mechanical to electrical conversion efficiency like as is in all generators and infinite mechanical to electrical conversion efficiency as is with the Regenx generator. So if you want to understand why that's important. In the world today, currently the world consumes around 25,000 trillion, 2,500 trillion watts of electricity per year. And in order to deliver 2,500 trillion watts of electricity to the planet, you need a minimum of 2,500 trillion watts of mechanical input power in your drive shaft. That's how all conventional generators work. Because the generator performs negative work, the, the electromagnetic field energy inside the generator performs negative work and it necessitates the increase in prime mover consumption and the additional mechanical power that's required in the drive shaft. And that's what's causing global warming and pollution and, and uh, human mortality where there are a lot of coal-fired power plants. Now, if you can get your generator to, per the magnetic fields in your generator to perform positive work, and you can get your generator to operate at infinite efficiency, that means that zero watts of mechanical input power are required to generate any amount of electricity forever. That's what infinite efficiency means. And that's why this, in, this innovation is important and why it should not be um, uh, slandered by calling it something that it's not just because you don't understand what it is. Thanks for viewing.